Hi there, Release Fight here. So I'm gonna talk you through how to beat Abzu part two. So this is the second fight that you take on after you get back into the sewers here in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hopefully the video is gonna help you out. If it does, drop me a like below. As ever, it's massively, massively appreciated. So starting off, I wanted to give Cloud as much magic damage as possible. And then I also add elemental damage and fire combined because Absu is incredibly weak to fire. And then I also add some magic up and some stagger buffs in there to help me out. As you can see here, I've got ATB assist, ATB stagger, magic up materia in place for Cloud. And then for Tifa, I had her set up as my like health boost. So I gave her the healing carcanet and then made sure she had healing materia barrier which I used a few times and revival and then as soon as I started I hit up assess and it seemed to indicate that magic attacks didn't do much damage however that's exactly what I tended to focus on because it was incredibly easy for Cloud's abilities to just sort of wish away and miss Abzu because he's really fast however all of the magic attacks definitely landed and it was a good enough strategy to take him down so starting off, just build up ATBs and then smash it up with your magic attacks. Spin on around it with a roll to get yourself into a half decent position. And I also found by giving Cloud Barrier or Mana Ward or whatever you've got yours upgraded to will help you to stay in the fight a little bit as you try to get close and do some of that elemental damage with the sword. If you combine that up with some good rolls, then you should be able to stay out of the way of a lot of the damage. However, you will inevitably get hit if you're going for this close quarters attack process but you can see here I'm just about to land a focus thrust and it didn't do a huge deal of damage to the stagger bar so I switched processes to focus on magic and focusing everything on the horn and tail in an attempt to bring this beast down and I found that that as a process definitely helps. So I combined up Cloud with Barrett to just keep on building up ATBs, hitting up the magic and going after the tail and the horn to be able to bring it down to the ground and to be able to do as much damage as I could. And that was more than enough to start chipping away at its health bar. But as you can see, it didn't take too long for it to go through to a new phase of the fight which it's just about to do now and then suddenly you've got the black water coming in which is a really dangerous thing to get hit by. If you get hit by that it's a huge amount of damage. The best thing to do is to run underneath where Abzu has climbed up to when he's firing it and that will give you a little bit of safety. But then it's just a case of getting back into the fight, rolling around it to stay away from its attacks, getting it in your damage, build up your ATBs and smash up the horn and tail some more to keep on building up the pressure and get Abzu a little bit closer to being finished off. So you can see here I've got ATBs across the board so now's a great opportunity, it's got its back to me so I can fire in a huge amount of damage from Cloud and Barret targeting the horn and tail and then I can use Tifa to send in a little bit of barrier to keep Cloud in the fight for even longer and that meant I landed with a huge amount of damage, gave myself some added protection and helped to get Abzu on the way to being finished. With the horn gone, it was just the tail to take out. However, it's a good idea just to use Tifa to keep everybody with a very strong amount of health just in case you get hit by the black water a little bit later on in the fight because that can do just a huge amount of damage and then it's just the case of hitting up your magic attacks and that should help to see you through to the final phase of the fight. You can see I'm just about to go into that now as soon as this fire lands and then Abzu goes even crazier than normal because you're essentially taking out its offspring. However, it's got loads of them so don't feel particularly bad and uh, keep up the pressure on that tail. So just hit it up with your strongest fire magic and you can see as soon as you take the tail out, it starts running around. The problem is because you've got so many of the offspring around, it doesn't really give you an opportunity to get in huge amount of damage, but if you can, try to lay in as much damage as possible on Abzu during this phase to try to increase your chances of getting a stagger, but you can see just how little an impact anything has on getting it to stagger in this second fight. 
The good news though is that this process is going to start paying off fairly quickly. It's doing the black water blast at the moment, so your best best is just to get out of the way of that and steer clear of getting hit. And then you can see it goes through to its final phase where it enlarges and there's a hell of a lot more black water blasts coming in. It's just about to do a new one, black water deluge I think it's called. But if you just keep on hitting up the magic attacks, then you should be able to bring it down to its knees and yeah, I managed to get hit by the deluge, but I had more than enough to be able to finish it off with these last few swipes. And then after a little bit of cure, as a last step of protection, I was able to use my Limit Breaker Cross Slash to finish off Abzu for the second time and the final time. And that is how I managed to beat Abzu Part 2 here in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel with the links on the left-hand side and check out the rest of my guide for Final Fantasy VII Remake with the links on the right-hand side. Leave any comments and I will catch you next time.